Yo, what up guys? Uh, welcome back. I hope you enjoyed that little thing. I hope I made it clear that we were on a train and we're in a city called Keelung, which is actually where I used to teach uh, when I was in Taiwan. And actually right across the street from me here, you can't see it probably, but that's the building I used to teach in when I first started teaching in Taiwan. So yeah, Keelung is like, a, like the Seattle of Taiwan. It's very rainy, a little bit different than Taipei, but uh, not much here, but uh, yeah, I'm gonna show her around and show you guys around where I first started my actual career is like being an English teacher. So honey, what do you think of this little town or city? It's very quiet, it's very nice. So if that type of person like just wanna enjoy yourself, so go to live here, I think. And yeah. nicer than Taipei is just busier. Like the same thing like Hano and the countryside. It's nice. Yeah, so we're gonna walk around, I'll show you around, and uh, yeah, welcome to the episode. Alright, uh, as you can see, we're in some uh, alleyway. Uh, the reason we came down here is actually also to reminisce, so let me show you something. Uh, this building here is where I first lived when I came to Viet uh, Vietnam, when I came to Taiwan, uh, all the way up on the fifth floor. Up there, at the very top. Yep. And uh, yeah, down this alleyway to the main road. And then you go back to the school from there. It was the first place I ever lived here abroad. It's weird coming back here with these memories, you know? Definitely different than where we live now in Hanoi. A little bit nicer, bigger. Yeah. What do you think, honey? It's good to see, like, uh, why did he leave when he stayed here? it all began, yeah. Yeah. Hello. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, this is where it all began. Uh, you ready to keep going? So I want to show her around a bit uh, because this city has some really nice temples. So I figure we'll walk a bit. We'll show you Keelung. Not much to see. Uh, the night market's good though. So after the temple, we'll go eat at the night market and then we can uh, head back to Taipei. So yeah, you okay with that plan? Yeah. All right, let's go. Yo, we made it to the temple. Uh, it's actually a serious hike. Uh, the sign's very unclear, but this is what you're looking for, by the way. Pretty cool, right? So it's like Lady Buddha being guarded. Uh, and it's got a very nice overlook looking over the whole city. So you can check that out here. I don't know if you can hear that song that they're playing. That's the sound the garbage truck makes as it drives around town. So in Taiwan, you don't have like dumpsters, but instead you keep the garbage in your house until the trash trucks come play their music and then you uh, take your trash to them. Anyways, uh, it's a really cool little temple though. I mean, not much else to show you. It's closed, it's really late. It's like six o'clock at night now. So I wanna do more hiking. We'll see if she's up to it. Cause like I said, it was kind of an intense hike. Uh, honey, how was the hike? I didn't work out for like after nine months and it's really intense though working up is really like steep but it's good after like going you're going down so I used to it now it's good <laughs> it's nice and the air here is oh my god because uh, we are staying in Hanoi and the pollution there like crazy now I can like feel the fresh air again though, so it's great <laughs> yeah, like she said, it's nice to just, for me, it's just nice to go out uh, after, after I got dumped when I lived in Taiwan. That's a whole nother story. Uh, I spent a lot of time walking up and down here from that apartment to here, which was like a 30 minute walk or something. I used to do that a lot because uh, there's no gyms nearby, but I ended up just doing that to exercise. So, by the way, I'm sorry if the autofocus is bad. It's really dark up here. Uh, so yeah, honey, we'll see. Uh, we'll see. I want to see if she wants to go for a little bit of a hike. Uh, I want to walk a little bit up this one road and we'll decide then after like 10 minutes of walking if we're going to do it or not. So it's a good hike though. If you're up here, you'll see the temple and then there's a fort, some kind of fort. I don't remember the name, but you can go to the fort and walk around. Otherwise, we'll just go to the night market and go back to Taipei. Yeah. Yeah. All right. See you in a minute. Alright, we 
made it uh, to the night market, so just enjoy the show. This market's famous for seafood, okay. uh, and it's uh, not in Taipei, so there's very little English. So we're gonna have to rely on all the Chinese movies you watch to be able to translate for us. Hopefully they show the price. You just point, just point at what you want, and they'll give it for you. Crab soup. I don't know what is it. It smells good. I don't know, honey. I look like they have crabs. I think like something they cook with a crab. It looks tasty, so we'll see if it's any good. And smell good too. See how it tastes. We finished eating, now we're trying to walk around more. It's really hard to hold this camera and talk. We'll talk later though, but this is another part of the market here, more traditional looking. a little bit overwhelmed by this market it's just so loud and crazy yeah we also want to go to the other night market back in Taipei so we can't eat too much here we've got to find the bus if we got our way back to Taipei and then go to the next night market because night markets are famous in Taiwan so you might as well enjoy all of them just take a little bit of food at each one so you never eat too much it's great maybe that's why they're so small like skinny because they just eat a little bit at a time instead of eating big meals like we do. But honey, look at the beef uh, noodle. It's like the bowl is huge. Well, yeah, that, but the night market food is different. Yeah, because you can try the different things. You cannot okay. just like stay in one place. Anyways, I guess we'll catch you on the bus, maybe? We're on the train now. Waiting, going back to Taipei. Yeah, we're gonna go back now. Uh, we we're gonna take a bus, but I'm, we're worried she'll get car sick, so we're just taking a train, it's safer. Oh, look at this, so the rain screwed us up. We brought the uh, <laughs> we brought the drone with us and we weren't even able to use it, which sucks. But maybe one day this trip we'll be able to use it. And if not, hey, at least we <laughs> know. Okay, we'll see about going to one more night market, right? But we're tired, dude. We've been walking so much, like it's crazy. But let's, uh, let's go and uh, try to get some food at the night market. Oh, we didn't go back to the to the next uh, the night market. The next market, yeah. We... we we were sitting on the train, and just kind of passed out. You know, most people go on vacation and they relax and recharge, but like our normal life is I'd say vacation. Yeah, we relax every night after work or in the morning. We relax. We always have time, but like on vacation, it's like we gotta go, go, go. You know. And we the opposite. Yeah. I don't know. If that's fun or if that's. Stupid. I mean, we're having fun, I think, right? Are you having fun? Or would you rather be like, I don't know. Oh, I'm having fun. Okay, okay, look, we spend less money than most people. Most people stay in a resort who want to pay pampered. And that already would cost way more than you and me would spend. Okay. And then on top of that, we're doing things that like local people do and not like all touristy stuff, which is also cheaper. And then we eat local food most of the time. Yeah. So in general, it's not only more experience and exciting, but it's also cheaper. When you're sitting at a resort, you're not learning anything or experiencing anything. When you go into a five-star spa or whatever, you know, I don't know. Plus, all that pampering we can do in Vietnam for way less money. But, I don't know, would you recommend people go to Keelung? Or like, if you didn't know my story, would you want to go? Would you have wanted to go to Keelung? No. No. So, Is that not the tourist? Yeah. Like, area? So, there's some stuff to see, like we showed you the temple and stuff. Uh, there's an old fort that we didn't get a chance to see, but... Besides that, the night market's cool, I guess, but honestly, if you don't have a lot of time, I'd recommend you don't Just stay go. in Taipei. Yeah, or go to go to Sun Moon Lake, or go to Hualien, Tarpo yeah. Gorge, yeah, stuff like that, but otherwise, you know. Yeah. But I wanted to show you something. This is a shout out to my boy, Leo. Uh, this, this thing, 
is 50 millimeter, 1.8. It's like the cheapest Sony lens you can buy. It is awesome. The pictures that she's been, that we've been coming out with and with her editing have been absolutely amazing. And it's awesome for like 200 bucks. It's still expensive, but compared to every other lens, it's not too bad. Offshoot from everything. So you have a good day? Yeah. yeah. Oh my god, and now I'm ready, ready to sleep. Yeah, yeah see. I'm so tired. Oh my god, yeah. I look high in. Yeah. AF? Yeah. Hi, AF, yeah. yeah. No, it was funny. I was just saying though, her, like, we. Most people do the like travel videos differently or they'll be like, oh, you have to do this or must see this. And I'm just like, uh, I'm gonna do things that not everybody does and make videos about it, you know? Totally not popular, but totally exactly the kind of people we are. We never do popular things, you know? Like we did the Taipei 101 and now we're like, mm -hmm. what? Why'd you get plum? You got plums? Really? That's the only thing they have. Okay, anyways. Like, comment, subscribe, check out other videos if you haven't seen them, and uh, we'll see you in the next one because we don't really know what we're gonna do tomorrow. Bye bye.